motherfucker. That mute asshole, that fucking snake without a tongue, gave me this shithole instead of a pink slip. I must be the biggest fucking idiot in the whole fucking world. Holmes, take it easy. At least we're alive. Girl, friend, fellow traveler, relax, man. You're really killing my fucking vibe here. Well, I'm sorry I'm fucking up your vibe, old man, but I can't wait to get my hands on that mute and your bitch-ass cousin. My cousin? You're gonna diss my familia? My bad, man. I'm just pissed for all of us. I mean, look, we in a strange place. We got shit to our name, and for once, I try to make something work, this garage, and it ain't even a garage. Then make it into a garage. Oh. That's a great idea, sis. Won't you shut up? You know what, Carl? You are a fucking idiot. Your whole life you wanted something for nothing. Now you've got something and you don't know what to do with it. We'll make it good enough. We'll help, right? We got your back, CJ. Come on, stop tripping, man. Both of you. Whoa, man, the energy here is fantastic. Oh. Yeah, uh, all right. But how I'ma find some good mechanics to work up in here, man? I know a few guys. Come with me, friend. They're good people, I swear it. Oh, man, I'm about to ride with this fool again. Come on, man. There's these two guys I know. Used to work on marine engines. Till the mob bought their business over in Vice. Now they try and make ends meet by taking any old job. They're a little bit dull by their habit, but the smoke don't get in the way of their skills with an engine. We'll pick up Jethro first. Last I heard, he was working at a garage over in East Basin. Hey, man, how you meet these dudes anyway? I met them at the 89th year of love apparently. Apparently? You know how it is, man. A field of tents, crazy-ass music. A quart of mescaline vodka, polar bears. Polar bears? Yeah, go figure. They were funny guys, man. Great sense to humor. This here's Vietnamese gang territory. Nang boys, shining razors, butterfly children. Watch yourself, dude. These cats are real serious. Hey, Jethro. Hop in, man. I've landed you a real job. Hey there, Truth Dude. Oh, man, do, do I owe you? Because I swear I paid for that weed, dude. No, man, we're good, I think. Jethro, Carl. Carl, Jethro. What's up, man? Can we swing by the hospital? It's over in Santa Flora District, west of here. Yeah, you sick? No, the government is, but that's a long story. So, you know, like, what's the deal, dudes? I'm opening the garage in Doherty by the waste ground. You know, car mods, low riders, all that shit. You down? Two polar bears shit in the woods. No, but they've been known to shit in the liquor tent, if I remember it right. Yeah, that was, like, so far gone. here for anyway nothing oh don't look cover your faces think about a yellow rubber duck you tripping again Shh. okay I've seen enough let's go see if we can find Wayne he's working a hot dog van at the tram terminal in Kings come on dude what's all that about you don't want to know why do you know what a subdermal neurophone is a what exactly sometimes it's best to stay in the dark kid
Dude, Dwayne, man, how's the hot dog business? It's totally shit. Why? What's happening? Uh, my friend Carl here is opening a chop shop. Jethro's in. How about you? Uh, yeah, cool, man. Uh, I've got, like, some shit to take care of first, though. So, uh, you tell me where you guys are gonna be at, and I'll meet you dudes there. The garage is on the waste grounds in Doherty. I'll see y'all later. Okay, next stop, cop station downtown. What? You want your mind. Why? If I told you, the likelihood is you'd get a probe up your ass within a month. Like, listen to the man, dude. He's real serious about that shit. Well, okay. But you're starting to freak me out with all that space shit, man. Okay, you know the drill. Don't look interested in anything. Picture a pink golf ball in your mind. Okay, we're good to go. Where to next, spacehead? There's an electronics guy I've had dealings with. Goes by the name of Zero. He could fix a supercomputer with a paperclip. He's got his own shop, but he's always ready to help fellow travelers along the path. Let's go introduce you to him. Look, what's going on, True? Look, what's going on, True? Who was him dude? Don't go there, man. Listen to Jethro. Now, what if I told you we never went to the moon? JFK lives in Scotland with Janis Joplin. And the only reason we've been in a Cold War for the last 45 years was because snake-headed aliens run the oil business. I think you popped another micro dot. Good. Keep it that way. Leave me alone, Berkeley. This is stalking. Oh, hey, Truth. Get in. I'll fill you in as we drive. Home, James. Carl, zero. Zero, Carl. Sup? Carl here is opening a garage around the corner. I told him you're the man to speak to when it comes to electronics. <laughs> Actually, I'm the only man to speak to. <laughs> Grade A tip-top genius. That's me. You should drop by the shop sometime. See some of my shit, bro. I'll do that. Okay, we here. A week of hard work, and we'll transform this place. Hey, Caesar, come over here. What's up, B? Caesar, this Jethro, Dwayne, and Zero. Hey, man. Dude. Salutations, my sibling. Orale, let's get to work. Hey, hey, Carl, look. I think I found a way for us to get paid. I ain't going to no college to study no account. No, idiot, property. Decorating ain't exactly my thing either. No, property development. Look, you buy a dump like this, fix it up, and sell it. Or better yet, you turn the property into a business. The snowball gets bigger. I don't know, sis. This all sound big time to me. Look, Carl, this place is going to get on its feet. And when it does, we are going to have money. If you want to make something of yourself, you got to let your money work for you. Look, I wouldn't even know where to start. Look, you two concentrate on the garage and let me work the property thing, OK? Yeah, that's my baby girl right there, Holmes. <laughs> Man, you chose her. I'm stuck with her. <laughs> Am I 
anything up? Yeah, what? Sorry, Carl, are you busy? Zero? Nah, man, good to hear from you. What's up? Disaster. My landlord is selling the shop. I'll have nowhere to live and no safe haven from Berkeley. Ah, oh, I'm looking to invest in some property at the moment. Maybe I'll swing by. Shit. Wear a condom. Take it easy, man. Exhilarating to have you visit, sir. you, sir. It was a pleasure, sir. Try on our range in the changing room. I always like to travel with my bank statement. Thank you, sir. Damn, for cheating. These shoes are so expensive. Try on anything you want, sir. Pleasure, sir. I'm moving out of my parents' place. Always a pleasure, sir. A very old proverb. Sir, 
always a pleasure, sir. Think that I'm smarter than everybody I know. It's fucked up. I can honestly say I wish you was here. Great. Now you got the present for that friend of mine, right? You know, the one trying to get me and old Officer Pulaski into trouble? Yeah. Why don't you put that up in his car and give Wee Tip a call? Hey, motherfucker, the code of the streets is that I don't snitch. I don't give a fuck if it kills you, me, my brother. Street cats don't call no cops. Carl, he's a DA. Oh, yeah? Well, where I go find him? He's at the Van Kauf Hotel in the financial. Oh, for sure. You must be the new boy. Get in line. I'm really enjoying the rat race right now. You got a problem, dude? Hey there. Hey, what's up? God, it's great to be me.
You smell totally gross. Absolutely the best thing. Have you sold your soul, like me? It's not something I've ever thought about. See you later, pal. Bye now. Hey, buddy. Hello. I struggle with my debt from college. Let's well, forget talk now. Hey, excuse me, pal. Hey, hey, what's up? I hate this slacker culture. No way. So, uh, have you ever been to college? I can't uh, live without it. Hey, watch it. Later, dude. Hey there. Yo, dude. I hate slackers. It's crazy. <laughs> no. Take the car. Here we go. I cannot bear lack of ambition. Gotta crank on him. Hello? This wee tip? I seen something highly suspicious you should come check out. Do you know who you're fucking with here? I'll have your badge, you moron. Shut up! You find anything back there? Found anything? He's got half of Mexico in here. Must be two tons of Mary here. What? But, but I've never seen. How could it be? Hell of a defense you got there, buddy. Again. Gonna have to let this one slide, man. Got too much shit on my plate. Hey, homies. What up, Carl? What the fuck is going on? Do I look like a hooker to you? What? Those assholes keep saying shit to me. Who said this to you? The construction workers up that hill. I'ma fuck them up. Nah, hold up. I got this. I need to go teach him a little respect, huh? That's right. Yeah. I've been thinking about getting me some new land anyway.
revolution. Yeah, it like totally sucks. Check you later. that damn clatter holy crap I didn't see nothing You wanna hold me, huh? Bring it on, buddy! It's the best you got! You don't need it now. Heroes get killed. <laughs> yeah, what? Yo, man, it's Jethro, dude. Hey, Jethro, what up? Well, I was talking to Caesar and, uh, don't get me wrong, dude. I mean, you are one out there dude when it comes to driving, man. But Caesar, he told us how many cars you get through, dude. And me and Dwayne were like, whoa! What is your point, Jethro? No, no point, man, no point. Just that there's an advanced driving school, like, just up the road from the garage, man. Like in Doherty. Driving school? Man, exactly what you trying to say, man. Nothing, man, nothing. It was Dwayne's idea. I think you're, you know, Cool and shit. I, I better go, CJ. I'll see you later.
Hello? Carl, it's Zero. Oh, hi, Z. You wasn't around when I signed the deeds. Yes, I know. I was on a dangerous reconnaissance mission, deep into enemy territory. Uh, yeah, right, sure, whatever you say. I should come through and have a look at the business, you know? Oh, of course, of course. I'll have to tidy up a bit. This place is such a mess. Don't worry about it. I'll drop in soon. Hey, what up, Z? Nothing is up, Carl, apart from my blood pressure and the imminent collapse of my hopes and dreams. Why? As usual, the forces of darkness have triumphed over good. Life is nothing but misery, briefly interspersed with agony. Homie, what you own? Whatever it is, you need to reduce the dosage. Excuse me, but I never take drugs. We all know drugs are for losers and or sex maniacs. And right now, sex is the last thing on my mind. Thank God for that. Berkeley is back. Oh, Berkeley. Yes. Who the fuck is Berkeley? Oh, just a man I once beat in fair competition. A man literally obsessed with revenge. Oh, you put hands on him? No, please. <laughs> I never initiate violence. Oh, I know. You knocked his bitch. Uh, no. I won the prize in the science fair. <laughs> First prize, that is. And now you want to pop you? <laughs> no. And they say gangbangers is petty as small-minded. Hey, what's that bleeping sound? That's him. We shall fight to the end. Berkeley's launched a full-scale attack. This is insanity! All batteries commence fire! He's going for my transmitters! If he takes them out, I'll never be able to launch a counterattack. No problem, man, but they're only toys. They're not toys. They're just smaller. CJ, bogey's at 12 o'clock! Don't get cocky!
As long as we have opposable thumbs, we will fight you. Well done, Carl. Now leave. I must prepare for the battles ahead. Never have so few owed so many. Too little, three... No, that's not it. What is it? We will fight him on the beaches. Well, rooftops. Hey, Z, where you at? Go away, Carl. I'm, I'm very, very busy back here. Top, top secret stuff, not for your eyes. Too sensitive. Come on, homie, where are you? I said go away, Carl. I don't need any friends today. Thank you. <laughs> Man, nip some pretty strong draws. Yes, my hero. Carl, he came back and humiliated me. I shall probably turn to prostitution now where I will be found dead and broken. I am a 28-year-old man whose landlord just helped him down from a hook from which I had been hanging from my underwear, contemplating my inadequacy for nearly two hours. Ow, my crack. Look, you gotta get even, homie. What kind of weapons you got? Uh, I've got a prototype of a miniature plane. Huh, <laughs> well with that plane, we gonna go humiliate Burke. <clears throat> Okay, cool. Man, this is ridiculous. That went right up my crack. Berkeley has his sycophantic lackeys do all his deliveries. Well, we shall hit him where it hurts the most. Bring his mail order model business to its knees. Launch the Red Baron.
two left now, Carl. Hunt them down! Can I borrow your car, sir? Put 
one's on my helmet. Zero? I'm off to engage with destiny, good or bad. What the hell are you talking about now? The hour of judgment is upon me, and I must ask myself if I am a sheep or a goat. Carl, will you be my second? Here are some letters. I've left everything to you in case I don't make it. Please. I already own it. What's wrong with you, man? We are crossing the Rubicon. I am to engage in battle with Berkeley. At stake, honor, and our very lives. It's funny. I've never noticed before how beautiful this time of year can be. I may never again see Rome in the springtime. <laughs> a butterfly. Come on with all the talking, man. Is you gonna battle Berkeley or what? It's a fight to the death. Come hither. Behold, no man's land. Man, y'all take this shit seriously. Berkeley's headquarters is across no man's land. I'll drive the bandit, you fly the goblin, and help any way you can. If I get the bandit into Berkeley's base, he must leave San Fierro for good. Let battle commence! Don't be an idiot. Use the goblin to move that barrel. Get a plank from our base and make a bridge across that gap. Get me a plank to cross that river. Berkeley's using tanks. Carl, grab a bomb and get rid of any tanks that threaten our progress.
There's no bridge. There's no bridge. Carl, I need a bridge now. Get me a plank to cross that river. Berkeley, you, sir, are a loser. Leave the field of battle in shame, pack up your crummy mail order business, and get out of my town! Carl, you are all a duelist like me could want in a second. Sir, I salute you.